Hi, I'm Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez from The Performance Place. Uh, you might have recognized me from a lot of the, the other videos we did. Um, but this video, before we start, I want to thank all of our viewers and people watching our videos for liking and sharing these things. It's a great way of, for us to get the knowledge that we have about medical and sports injuries out to the public, which really needs it, and there's a lack of a lot of good information out there. The type of stuff we're going to go be going through today is about ultrasound. Uh, and we're not talking about ultrasound that's used for treatment, and this is the type of thing you get when you go into a therapy clinic and they do this every day on you, this is different. Now, there's a type of imaging which is called musculoskeletal ultrasound. And ultrasound is the same type of imaging or technology that's used on visualizing babies. So obviously you look inside the womb, you see the baby's face, the sex and everything like that. So it provides a very detailed map of the structures of, in this case, we're looking at muscles, tendons, ligaments, and fascia, which can really help out with a really pinpoint accurate diagnosis of any condition you might have. Now the case we're going to go into today is one of plantar fasciitis. I go, I'm going to go quote unquote because we weren't sure at the point. This was a marathon runner and also running coach that came in with her foot in a boot. She had instructions by the last person that saw her to not run for an extended period of time. And also she didn't have any clear diagnosis or diagnostic imaging to support the facts or the claim rather that it was plantar fasciitis or a possible plantar fascia tear. So because of this we didn't want her to have a bunch of time off when she didn't need it, so we thought we'd look a little bit deeper and use something like musculoskeletal ultrasound to visualize whether that plantar fascia had been compromised or not. All right, so let me just start on the heel real quick and just take a look. That little dome right there is the medial tubercle of the calcaneus, and the plantar fascia is coming in right there, and it looks really nice. This is the most typical spot. I'm gonna look up here, but this is usually where we see a lot of the plantar fasciitis, and, um, Generally speaking, did you take you take a picture there? No, no I won't. Take one right there. That looks pretty good. Great in this area. I start to see like a hypertrophic, kind of little balled up knot compared to right above the bone there. It's very homogeneous. It's nice and striated. So you get down to right here, and you just get this kind of. And then there's a little bit of edema, edema with it too. The dark kind of puffiness around it. You might wonder, is this mass that we found actually the area where things hurt? And yes, in fact, that was the spot she was pointing at. When she originally presented, she had things going on throughout the entire foot uh, into the plantar fascia and some of those other regions. But also, too, just realize that with this imaging, you can see there's a pinpoint spot that's the problem. And that's where we started to address things from there on. Now most people that have this thing done, they can actually see the things they're very excited about and there's very high patient satisfaction with seeing this type of stuff and they know what their problem is. So you might be wondering, where can you get this done in your neck of the woods? Well, in an area like mine, I'm in Southern California, there's a lot of people around, but I can only tell you, there's probably only a few people that I trust to read this type of imaging or they're called sonographers to look at these types of images and conduct the study. And that's in my area. And again, this is no offense to other types of sonographers in my area. Maybe we just haven't met yet. But there are some people that are very good at musculoskeletal ultrasound and you have to find those people. Now you might say, I'm not in Southern California, but here's the thing. You can go online and check in Google and see if someone does musculoskeletal ultrasound. And you can probably talk to them and see if they have a lot of education. Uh, also too, it might not be a bad idea that a lot of times these are one-shot deals where you can find a correct pinpoint diagnosis with something like this and it's worth the drive. I know I would definitely drive probably an hour and a half, two hours to get something like this. So if you're around an area that has something good, maybe a few hours away, you'd probably consider to do a little road trip, get some good imaging done and get yourself on the right track to mainly working on the right diagnosis. Now in the future we're going to come up with more videos on musculoskeletal ultrasound and different conditions you can see with it. So tune in for that and you can subscribe to our video feed. You'll see them on the sides here. Also you can go onto our website and there'll be a page in front that'll link you to us through emails and you'll get a lot of the stuff that's not on YouTube. Still good, really, really good information. So hope you guys enjoyed and give us as much feedback as you possibly can, good or bad. I'm open to all of it and I respond to pretty much all of them. Talk to you soon.